Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a custom 404 page or page not found page. So when you go to a website and you type in a non-existent URL within the website, so let me just type in some garbage here, uh, and I'm going to type HTML. Uh, I'm presented with this page right here that tells me that it was found. Additionally, a 404 not found error was encountered while trying to use an error document to handle this request. At any rate, sometimes what you're going to get instead of this is you're going to get either a page that's already been up there by default from your web hosting company, and sometimes it's their page with their advertising on it. Uh, sometimes it's a page you want, sometimes it's a page you don't. But you can make that error page custom and look exactly like you want it to, and it can match other parts of your website because basically it's just another page on your website. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. First thing you want to do is you want to go to your FTP and you want to FTP to the very root of your website and see if you have an HT access file in there. If you do have an HT access file then you're going to want to just edit the HT access file that exists. If you don't then you're going to need to make an HT access file, which we're going to go ahead and do now. And also you need to make a 404 uh, file as well. So on the HT access, I've opened a document and I've saved it as HT access, and it contains exactly nothing right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type error document. four o four space and then I'm going to put a slash and that's going to be 404.html. Alright, so what this is doing is this is telling, uh, this is your HT access file and we're going to go ahead and save that as HT access. So you save it without any extensions, you just put a dot .htacces. -E it's going to ask me if I want to overwrite because I already wrote it. Yes, I want to overwrite that. The next thing we want to do is we want to make a 404 HTML. So I've already made one here and all I've done is I've just typed in page not found just to demonstrate for this particular demonstration. So I've created that and I'm going to save that as of course 404 404.html. All right. Now I've already saved this one so it's going to ask me do I want to overwrite it? Yes. So now we've created both of the files that we need to make a custom 404 page. So now we go back over to our uh, host gate or our FileZilla, and I'm going to refresh the page so that it populates over here in my directory that I built this HT access and this 404 in. So let me show you uh, what you do next is you just upload this HT access. And if you were editing one that was already existing in here, make sure that if, if it's asking you, like, if you get this, like that, and you haven't downloaded and edited, you don't want to overwrite that. You just want to add that line to your HT access. So you'll, you'll want to cancel that and edit the actual HT access. If you don't get that and you don't have one up on your site, then don't worry about it. Just put that one up there. The next thing you want to do is you want to put your 404 HTML, which is your error handling page. So now we'll go back to the website. I'll go back to the main page and I'll just type some new gobbledygook in there. Uh, htm. And now you see instead of getting met by that page we were met with before, you get met with the page that you made, the 404 htm. Although it's not going to say 404 htm here, it's going to show you the, uh, the actual URL that was typed in. So down here you can put anything you want to. Return to the front of the site. Sorry you found a page that doesn't exist. Return, you know, you can put advertising on this. You can do whatever you want to. And it's your own custom page. I hope that has made, helped you to make a custom 404 or a custom page not found page. Thank you very much. If this has helped you, please give me a thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video.